Receipt Bank, one of my top three expense management applications. And the bottom line on this is it's got to have a mobile app. And it should be a good mobile app because there's really no point in this day and age of having an expense tracking application that I can't use when I'm out and about traveling, having dinner with colleagues and what have you at a restaurant, let's say. It's probably a good high percentage of the use cases where I need something like this. Also, I might just get a bill in the mail, such as this one, for some promotional pens that I ordered. And I don't really want to keep the paper around. I, I want it digital. And with apps like Receipt Bank, I can configure it to integrate with my accounting software so that once the receipt is scanned, it can, I can you know, pre-program the settings and say, push this into QuickBooks Online as a payment made out of my bank account. And it'll be there so that because this might be paid for, let's say on my debit card, or you know, just directly out of my bank account for that matter, then it will come through in the bank feed. Receipt Bank will have pushed it into QuickBooks as a transaction already, and the bank feed in QuickBooks Online will simply match it up. It'll know exactly what to do. Transactions matched up. It's already been coded on the Receipt Bank side. Receipt Bank has access to my chart of accounts. So boom, it's basically I just take a picture and I'm done, right? Once everything's set up. Let's take a look at my screen. I'll show you what the mobile app looks like, and then we'll do a quick tour of the desktop, the web app for Receipt Bank. Now, of course, I'm going to tap on my little camera icon, and I want to take a picture of the receipt or the bill or the invoice and done and then I tap my little green button there and I'm done I can put my phone away pay my bill get back to dinner whatever I'm doing now let's uh, go over to the web app and see what this looks like now one of the things I love about Receipt Bank's web app is when you go to the you click on the logo up there to go to the home sort of dashboard the overview you get the bookkeeping analysis, which will show you anything that needs your attention. So if there's something that is, you know, th that you scanned or took a photo of that you never took the time to process properly, never published it, you have to publish it in order to make sure it goes to QuickBooks Online. You can auto-publish things, but I don't recommend it. Obviously, you want to review things, make sure they're going to the right place before you just send them into your accounting software. Um, but as you can see, it shows you based on urgency and, and other things that you can use in terms of client efficiency and whatnot in order to uh, help you manage the bookkeeping part of this more seamlessly and more easily. So now let's take a look and go to the, uh, the inbox. So if I go to client management here, um, sorry, that's to uh, add a new client. I want to go to practice management. I'll go to my account. And now I'm in my inbox. And as you can see, I have actually three in processing, right? And then there's this one, which is in my actual inbox, uh, a receipt from the Daily Grill ready to be published. And if I click on this, it'll publish it to QuickBooks Online based on the date of November 23rd, 2016, because that's when I went and ate at the Daily Grill at the Burbank Marriott. So I'm not going to do it because I don't want to push that in. It's one that I had actually done before and, and published, and then I undid it so that I could show you what this looks like. Notice here in processing, I have three. So this includes the one that I just took the snapshot of and two others that I did when I was playing around and sort of practicing before I actually started recording this very video. Now let's take a quick look into the settings so you can understand how the integration works. So when I go to my account settings, and I love how easy and straightforward this is. Just right within the settings, there's integration. And over here, you can see I've got it linked to Intuit QuickBooks. Right, default publish uh, destination is a check. Right, so that's where it's going to go by default. Um, I can publish tax data if I wanted to. Uh, notice display category codes and reload list is on. That means it's constantly synced to my QuickBooks chart of accounts. And if I scroll down, Again, I can do automatic publishing. I don't recommend it because you always want to review things and make sure before it goes into your accounting software. And then if I do turn on automatic publishing, I can list exceptions here. So again, really, really straightforward in terms of how to um, you know, manage this and how to get everything set up. And like I said, once it's set up, pretty much you take a snapshot of your receipt and you can go back about your business, whatever you were doing before. So that, my friends, is Receipt Bank at a glance and uh, stay tuned or keep working your way down the uh, right up here because we're going to take another look at 
uh, the other two uh, expense reporting apps that I happen to really love.